Welcome back to the channel, investors. Obviously, a little bit of a different background today. We're not in the studio. Long story, but the power is completely out in my town. That's why we were live streaming from the Planet Fitness parking lot today in the Discord. But whatever it is, we're gonna get it done. I actually don't even have my truck today either. We're sitting in the rental, but whatever it is, you know, I told you guys on Wednesday, I was gonna bring you guys my 10 favorite penny stocks for 2022. We have a mix of all different stocks to share with you guys in today's video, going from a long-term hold, quick swing trades, even one stock that's already up over 50%. This video is gonna be absolutely packed, so you have to get to it right now. Real quick, guys, if you appreciate all the work that goes into making these videos, even like these filming in the car, make sure and hit that subscribe button. We have been hitting some insane winners lately. I'm talking 40, 50, all the way up to well over 100% gains, both with trading shares and also with trading options. Make sure you're subscribed with your notifications turned on. And also in the Discord, that link will be below if you wanna get all of of these plays way earlier like one stock that i'm going to be showing you right here so as we can see the first stock on today's list is going to be heads up entertainment international this is ticker symbol hdup now i'm going to be honest guys i really wanted this stock to be one of the main stocks to share with you guys in this video one of the main swing trades that i wanted to give you guys but it has gone up substantially so if you guys remember this video was supposed to be on monday but we had a massive short squeeze with Redbox, and i had to delay this video so we could talk about Redbox. Redbox. But in the meantime, I did share this stock with my Discord. And just yesterday, this stock went up over 50% just in one day. So honestly, this stock has some great things coming for it. But just know we may have to wait for a pullback before we get in on Heads Up Entertainment again. After a 50% run, it may need to cool down. But anyways, this is kind of why and some of the things that I look for. So a few days before this, Heads Up Entertainment came out with a tweet and they said press releases and Twitter updates coming tomorrow. Tomorrow, which would have been yesterday. I believe that would have been May 3rd. So May 3rd, they were supposed to release all this information on some press releases that they had coming up in the future, right? All that made me very bullish for the stock. And obviously it happened much quicker than I expected. But you could also pause this and read some of this about HDUP, all kinds of eight deals leading up. They're looking at a NASDAQ uplisting coming up in the future and they're trying to meet all of the NASDAQ listing requirements. So lots of stuff to look forward to still, even after that run up with HDUP. But we got to move on because we have nine other stocks to cover in today's video. So moving on to the next stock. This is one of my favorites. Now, this is a long-term hold. You could swing trade this one if you want. But for me, this is a long-term investment. And this is ticker symbol IQST. So IQST is holding up substantially well, even during these times of uncertainty and doubt, right? But regardless, we can see IQST is sitting around 50 cents right now. Now, let's talk about some of my most bullish reasons for IQST. So one is just the revenue their growth all of that. They are killing it. So as we can see, IQST announces 44% year over year revenue growth to $64.7 million with 59% gross profit increase. As we can see the same thing down here, IQST realized 44% increase in revenue. That is huge reaching a $64.7 million. And that was compared to 44.9 of the previous year. So IQST is growing their revenue substantially. You can once again see their, uh, th summary of the financials here from 21 to 22 everything increased except the bad things consolidated net loss uh decreased operating loss decreased liabilities decreased which is all very good so they are improving vastly and truly they are meeting those 2022 requirements to get uplisted to the nasdaq now what we are looking for here also is three target acquisitions that iqst is expecting to close next month now we already got one that they announced it was a telecom business which which did a little bit for the stock price, but nothing major. But we're waiting for these two other acquisitions that are expected to close. They were expected to close in April. So we could see them come here in May. Hopefully by the end of May, we will see these two other target acquisitions close, which by the way, are just two more good catalysts to look for here in the near future. One thing I want to highlight with all these stocks, penny stocks in general, especially if you guys are swing trading, catalyst, press releases, all that stuff is extremely important. Make sure you are looking out for whenever 
whenever there is going to be catalysts coming up, those are going to be the times when you want to go in. And obviously, two target acquisitions still to come for IQST is a big, big catalyst for their stock price. Now, in addition to that, there's also two other things that I don't have here on articles, but I will tell you about them. One is their NASDAQ uplisting. We are waiting for them to meet all the requirements to uplist to the NASDAQ. And I guess kind of part two to that would be that the minimum NASDAQ price is $2 per share. So IQST right now, as we can see, sitting at 50 cents, they are expected to get to $2 per share organically. The CEO has said that they expect to get their organic layer. They're not going to do any reverse splits to get to $2 per share, meaning this could possibly go from 50 cents to $2. And all that is expected to happen within the first half of this year. Moving on though, is ticker symbol CYBL. I know we're going pretty fast here. We got eight more to cover in today's video. I do go in depth in all these stocks in separate videos. So leave me a comment down below if you want to see any of these stocks more in depth, but we have ticker symbol CYBL here. Now we rode CYBL. We've been talking about it for a while, but particularly lately, 0.01 is when we were talking about this stock as a great opportunity. And now we can see it sitting at 0.02, which is already a 100% gainer. But this stock has so much more to come here in the relatively near future. As we can see, CYBL, two more potential acquisitions on the table this quarter as well from Moon Market. Shout out to him. And also lots of people are giving price targets for CYBL anywhere from four to five cents, which is pretty insane. Even if they can only get to half that, even if they double again, I mean, that would just be insane for this stock price, right? We can see many catalysts coming up, Q1 financials coming up. We have possible acquisitions coming up this quarter with revenue, 700 million share removal, which should be coming up this week. Share buyback update, very likely it's going to happen. And also the Europe deals, many things are unfolding here with CYBL. And I'll be honest, out of all penny stocks, out of all OTC stocks, I think a lot of people would tell you that CYBL is up there at the top, if not their top penny stock for 2022. This is a very, very solid company and I think deserves more than just swing trade potential. I think it definitely has long-term potential as well. Moving on to ticker symbol ILUS, which is some people's favorite stock for 2022. It is up there for me. I'm not sure exactly if it's my favorite, but it is definitely up there. And that is because they have so much potential, especially after their massive pullback. Now, what is in it for ILUS? Well, it's their revenue, right? And you can see they have so many big catalysts coming up here in, I in uh, 2022. I keep wanting to say IQST because that might be my favorite stock for 2022. But anyway, we can see ILUS will be spinning off ticker ERT to NASDAQ in 2022. ERT spinoff has a forecast valuation of over $500 million. ILUS themselves plans to uplist in the NASDAQ in 2022. Also, five plus NASDAQ spinoffs planned over the next few years. ILUS will retain 51 to 80 percent uh, stock of each NASDAQ spinoff. CEO confirms that there will not be any reverse split and revenue is projected to exceed $1 billion just in the next uh, two to three years, which would make this company extremely undervalued if it stays where it is right now. So I'm not going to read the rest of these because we have to move on, but check this out. You can pause the video and you can read all of those. Now, the next stock on today's list is ticker symbol VEV, Vicinity Motor Corp. Now, as we can see, this stock 100% looks cheap based off a 2022 forecast. This is an EV bus company, right? They also do some other buses, clean diesel and a few different things, but EV is really the main reason you could say why I am invested in this company. So it says the company is building an EV production facility in the USA that is set to open in the first half of 2022. They're also expecting its sales in EBITDA could soar to more than 140 or 112.1 million uh, US dollars here in 2022. Now, the most important part about this is I believe this is a hundred million dollar or less company. That means their revenue will be one to one, one to one price to sales ratio. That is extremely, extremely bullish for this stock, right? Now, the only bad things with this company is the company is tending to over promise and under deliver, which I do not like. CYBL, IQST, NEO, many other stocks in the market, they under promise and over deliver, meaning they always do it substantially better than what their projections were. VEV seems to be the opposite. I don't necessarily like that. That doesn't mean I'm throwing this company out, but just keep that in mind. But really, I mean, their share prices dropped 68% since July, 2021. And all of this is happening. Their price to sales ratio is insane. New facilities, they have orders and on orders on orders. Do me a favor, type in VEV on Google, click on news, sort down and just look at all the orders that they have been receiving. So I'm still very bullish on this company. Don't get me wrong. I just want to see them under promise and over deliver. I think that would mean a lot more to shareholders and get people a lot more excited. They're not too good with, with the excitement part, which is why I think this stock is dropping. But, and we also, as we can see here, we have first quarter 2022 financial results coming up for VEV as well. So keep VEV on your watch list and most definitely. And let me know down in the comments what you guys think about that one. Now, next is ticker symbol AA 
APT. Now, I'm going to be honest, there is a lot of great things coming up for this stock. And as far as their revenue goes to their current market cap, tons of potential, right? As we can see, AAPT has financials with merger valuation of 200 million by May 15th, revenues of 8 million in 2021, 20 million plus revenue projection for 2022. Their market cap is only $10 million. So if they hit $20 million in revenue in 2022 and the stock doesn't move, their revenue is double their current market cap. I mean, that is substantially undervalued, especially when we look at some of these penny stocks. They got more acquisitions coming in 2022, many, many stuff, and also a possible share buyback or reduction. So these are all great things we want to see with tiny penny stocks like AAPT. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it. So here's my update on AAPT. Now, I think I have one more thing. Yeah, so as we can see here, no dilution. They said no dilution, $10 million market cap. And we're also expecting all of these great things coming up in 2022. Now, one thing I wanna highlight is that in the near term here, there's not necessarily very many catalysts, right? So when we talk about penny stocks in the short term, it's all about catalysts, uh, news releases, PRs, you name it. All that stuff makes these penny stocks move, but there's not much of that in the relatively near future here for AAPT. That's why you might wanna keep this on your watch list, do some thinking about it, maybe not necessarily going right away because it could drop more. Just know as far as long-term potential goes, if they're able to meet these revenue projections with their current market cap, maybe share buybacks and more good things happening in penny stock land here, this stock is gonna do substantially well. That's why I wanted to share it with you guys and also give you guys an update. Now, the next stock on today's list as we're winding it down here is ticker symbol INTK. INTK here, as we can see, this company, uh, as mentioned, many other global fortune, 100 and 500 companies are purchasing their products. I mean, Caterpillar, G. E, Exxon, you name it. All kinds of very, very big companies. This is why INTK projects 6 million plus Q2 sales and to exponentially grow to 45 million in 2022. Their time is now. So you guys can read along this here. Now, I'll be honest, there is people seeing, saying that INTK is a scam. Lots of people. So I just want to keep you updated on that. And, you know, if you're up on this one, maybe consider taking profits. If you're down on it, you know, maybe consider getting out. I mean, that's completely up to you. But I do think there's still a future for this stock, especially in the short term here. They also have a financials coming up that are going to show millions of dollars in revenue. So this is going to be a bullish thing to look forward to as well. So look forward to INTK. Now, my last couple of stocks on today's list, one is UEC. This is my hedge against all of those riskier penny stocks. This is a uranium stock that we have been in since around $2 per share, absolutely killing it on up over 100% gains on this stock. And it performs well during inflationary times and times of uncertainty, right? Just like gold. It's pretty much a gold stock. It's a commodity, right? So keep an eye on UEC. It could be great opportunities here if the economy can continues the way it is going. Now, my last two stocks, G-O-F-F -F and ticker symbol A-P-T-Y. You guys can look up those stocks for yourself. Come on, I can't give you all the answers, but I just want you to keep those stocks on your watch list because they do have a substantial potential coming up here in the very, very near future. Do some research. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. But regardless, guys, I couldn't cover all of the penny stocks in today's video. If you want to see all of the stocks that we talk about, come join us in the Discord. We literally call runners every single day of the week. We make 50% to 100% gains almost daily because there's always stocks that run in the market. So that is what I want to share with you guys. Come in the Discord. The main man, Machete, does all that. I trade options live every single morning and we absolutely kill it. I hope to see you all. I'm going to open up 10 slots in the Discord so all of you guys can join because it sold out after the last video. But regardless, these are some of my favorite stocks. IQST being one of them. One of the top ones there. HDUP being one that, have that has tons of good stuff coming up here in the future. VEV, UEC, tons of great penny stocks in this video for both swings and long-term investments, right? So keep an eye on that and let me know down in the comments if you want me to break down any of these even further in a separate video. But that is all I have for you guys in today's video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and come join us in that Discord for all of our options and runners. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.